Konnichiwa, Tinjon this and welcome to the second part of the installation sensation of my Intel SSD 6. So, kung napanood niyo yung first part na in-install ko yung, ano, yung SSD 6, medyo, ano nga lang, sorry for the cable management and uh, camera angles. Kasi, I'm just using a phone instead of a proper camera setup. <laughs> okay, so... Nakabit ko na, and um, all we have to do is, uh, let's go to this management. And, eto na po siya mga kaibigan. Uh, na -allo uh, unallocated na siya, pero online na po siya mga kaibigan. And, ang properties nito ay, isa, isa na siyang GPT or GUID partition table. Bakit GPT ang pinili ko instead of MBR, eh... Uh, because I'm using a UEFI to take advantage of a UEFI hardware use a GPT. Even though, um, ano, um, 512GB lang ang aking uh, SSD 6. And also, uh, sinet ko rin sa BIOS ko na ang M.2 uh, interface na uh, gagamitin ko is a PCIe. Kasi PCIe ang aking Intel SSD 6. So, Finors, uh, Finors ko siya as PCIe. Uh, dati naka-auto, naka-auto mode ang aking ano, uh, aking uh, M.2 configuration. Pero Finors ko siya sa PCIe kasi alam ko naman na NVMe ang ano ko, Intel SSD 6. So, di ba nakikita nyo is unallocated. So, Right click nga yan, new simple volume, and magkakaroon tayo ng new simple volume wizard. So, next. Uh, wag nyo na lang, uh, okay na to. Um, wag, nyo na, wag nyo nang galawin, just click next. And assign the letter, uh, wala nang C kasi nakuha na siya na aking dito, C. And also D, wala na kasi nandito na siya. So, I'll, uh, I'll assign letter G na lang. Okay. So, next. Uh, let's format this in NTFS. Uh, M.2. Perform a quick format. Sige. Uh, wait lang. Back lang natin. Default. M.2. NTFS. Okay. So, walang compression. Finish. Formatting. Ayun. Okay na. Uh, eto na yung ating M.2. Ayan. Wala siyang laman. Pero, okay na. So, ang gagawin natin is maglipat ng stuff today. Ayan. Ayan. 100% to. So, ang mga lilipat nating stuff dito ay mga games and other stuff na pwede kong ilagay. So, para wala tong ano hindi hindi na sumikip tong hard drive na to okay so yun so maglilipat na ako ng steam games kasi uh, i have a library of steam games here um so ganito lang maglipat ng steam games puta ka dito ako sa library mo tapos properties local files and move install folder Ayan, G Games Steam Library. Let's move it. And magmove na siya. I expect this is faster because I'm using a ano, NVMe SSD. <laughs> Gintay lang tayo ng ilang oras per minuto, depende. Tingnan natin yung task manager. Wow. <laughs> uh, yes, uh. Well, actually, the HDD is doing all the work right now. <laughs> Ilipat kasi tayo ng files. Okay, but nawala yung status bar dito. 
Ah, okay, yun pala. <laughs> ah, hala ako, nawala eh. So, ito yung first game na nilipat natin. Ililipat natin yung ibang epic games na laro. For example, Fortnite and Rocket League. So, yeah, ito siya. Pero meron ako ang Intel NAND uh, memory and storage tool dito. Oops, sorry. Oh, yung firmware ko out of date. <laughs> Kailangan ko to i-update mamaya. So, ito yung ano ko, installation na ko. Life remaining 100, of course. The HDD is doing all the work. Pero malat matatapos na siya. <laughs> And iisa-isahin natin yan. Then, let's test the game. Let's test the games, the load, the game load times and whatnot. Because as this is an SSD after all, and also update na natin yung firmware na ano. I think I think di naman mawala wala ng files dito sa aking ano. Intel SSD six kapag in update ko yung firmware. I don't know. I'll I'm gonna risk it. <laughs> Going to risk it. So yun na tapos na. Okay, so next naman is this, crush crush, properties, local files, and simple lang to, liit lang nito eh. <laughs> and gagawin ko to sa ibang laro, so I'll be back in a jiffy. So, eto, um... Ini-install ko ulit yung Fortnite. Nagkamali ako ng ano dito, ng step. So, sana hindi na maulit. Inuulit ko lang yung step supposed to be dapat sa Fortnite dito sa Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, Tinatransfer ko siya sa isang temporary folder. Then tapos eh, i-install ko siya. I mean, uh, aanahin ko siya dito. So, Ayan. Sana mag-work. <laughs> And also, I'm gonna do the same for Borderlands 2, Rocket League, and 20XX. Malay mo, uh, i-download ko na rin yung iba kung hindi ko pa nalalarong laro dito. Like, Hitman. Ano pa ba? Itong, ano, itong Rogue Company. Na na nalaro ko na to, kaso wala na akong space, kaya nag-delete ako. And baka ito, install ko let World War Z. So, yan. I'll be back again if na completed ko na yung mga transfer. Okay, almost lahat ng laro ay na-transfer ko na dito sa aking uh, Intel SSD 6. Ang ita-transfer ko na lang, I think, is Genshin Impact. And, uh, okay, so, so far, ang ginawa natin is naglagay tayo ng new simple volume and nag-transfer tayo ng Steam Games and Epic Games. So, mm -hmm. uh, Genshin Impact na lang na titira and uh, hindi ko alam kung gagana yung ano ko gagawin ko which is copy ko yung ano yung directory ng Genshin sa sa G sa sa Drive G yun nga sa Intel SSD 6 um I don't know if um ma-detect na launcher sana ma-detect and uh, Ayun, uh, okay, so, eto na yung ga uh, gagawin ko na siya, actually, let's go. So, ayan, ginagawa ko na yung transfer, uh, habang nagda-download yung Fortnite, ginagawa ko yung transfer ng Genshin Impact from the hard drive to the Intel SSD 6. Uh, yeah, uh, ganyan siya kalaki, people. Uh, ito kasi yung latest update version 1.2 uh, yeah so far yun yung latest update and uh, for sure 
sa February, 1.3 na tayo or maybe early March or something. So, ano ang detection ng launcher? And pag hindi siya na-detect na launcher, well, uh, F, F, F's in the comments. <laughs> the joke lang. Uh, edi ano, uh, reinstall na lang natin. Uh, kasi, okay naman, mabilis naman ang internet namin dito sa bahay. And, um, ayun, sana ma-detect siya na, ano, launcher. About 3 minutes remaining. Uh, napakabilis talaga ng, ano, ng SSD in general. Uh, kanina nagtesting ako ng, ano, ng laro. Eh, eh, the load times are better than HDD. Eh, ayos. Uh, I think um, uh, I'm gonna do one video about load times in ano, Genshin Impact using an NVMe or Non-Volatile Memory Express. Um, and NVMe is regarded as the fastest SSDs. Sabi ng iba. Uh, oh. And tingnan natin yung launcher if um, if the launcher will detect the installation. Kasi wala move function sa mismong launcher. Eh. Well, Mihoyo, please add a move function, okay? A move installation function next time. 83% complete. And, um... Sana madetect to. Ah, 91%. It's almost there. Almost there. Nagaagawan lang ito ng, ano, ng resources kasi nag, ito, itong Fortnite is nagra-write and itong ano, is nag-move. I mean, nagra-write din. Pareha sila nagra-write actually. So, agawan sila ng resources ngayon. Pero, mas matatapos na si ano, Genshin. Five seconds. Okay, so the moment of truth. Okay, the moment of truth. Oh, <laughs> wait, it's get game, pero wait lang, teka, let's change the path. Teka. Detect to. Oh no, hindi siya... Wait, what? No! <laughs> Magda-download na naman ako. Okay, so... Hindi siya na-detect, so... F. <laughs> right. Hindi na siya na-detect, so... Well, that was a waste of time. Mihoyo, please, next time, ha? Next time... Have some functionality on your launcher, please. Some functionality, like move function, please. Hi. This is atrocious. 16 gigabytes again. Oh, well, I'm gonna get back to you in a moment. Just like I said, mabilis naman ang internet dito sa bahay. So, re-download na lang natin ulit. Sayang naman. Fortnite is finally done. So, tapos na ako sa Epic Games Territory. The next one is this. Genshin Impact. Ah, uh, re download ko na naman. Uh, that was frustrating as F. Pero, kailangan natin i-download ulit. Uh-huh. So, I'm just updating the launcher. So, theoretically, ang lalabas dito si Albedo ulit. And, um, yeah. Ang save mo naman ay nakasave sa, ano, sa Mihoyo servers. 
assuming na you play on PC or mobile. Pero if you're playing on PlayStation, then your save is at PlayStation servers. And hindi siya cross save, people. So, yun lang. Ayun lang yung ah, ano dyan. Oh, ito na. Open launcher. And, ayan. <laughs> There you go. Uh, ayan na po. Si Albedo na. Let's get game. And, as usual, we will re-download Genshin Impact. Alright. So, 30 Mbps ang aming plan ng internet. So, it, it will take a while. Pero, it's okay, okay na yan. So, dito na nagtatapos ang ating video. Uh, hindi ko kayo ayaan mo dyan. Uh, i... <laughs> I-walkthrough pa dito sa launcher na to. So, uh, next video na gagawin ko is um, we will test Genshin Impact on Intel SSD 6. Load times kasi uh, pares lang naman yan ng ano, performance sa graphic. Graphically, kasi you know, I have a i5 and a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 TI and testingin lang natin ang load times kung mas mabilis nga ba uh, load times kapag ikaw ay naka NVMe SSD versus kapag ikaw ay naka SATA HDD take note na mas mabilis ang uh, NVMe interface kesa sa SATA interface so yun ang, ano, ang expected ano ko ang expected time of load uh, low, ang expected load time ko dito sa Genshin Impact is below uh, 54 seconds basta kasi ang record ko sa hard drive is 54.355 seconds so sana mas mababa pa doon so ayun na so nat Na-transfer ko na lahat ng laro. Except dito sa Genshin, nire-download ko siya. <laughs> uh, ang ginawa natin is... Uh, ginaw, uh, ginawa ko is... Naglagay tayo ng simple volume. Nag-transfer tayo ng Steam Games and Epic Games. And also, nag-redownload tayo ng Genshin. And next video is... We're gonna benchmark this... Uh, Intel SSD 6. NVMe sa Genshin Impact yung kanyang load times. So, it is me. It's Tin John 06. See you on the next one and sayo nara. Thank you.